Your ideal cash buyer is a local active investor in the same neighborhood. Yep. So I've never not found a buyer for a property in the same neighborhood. So I, I call that the neighborhood flipper technique where really you're just looking for, okay, who's actively doing deals in the same neighborhood as my property because all investors like to do deals in the same neighborhood where they've previously done deals. You call up this buyer it's, and say- You say, hey, I noticed that you did a deal or you bought a property, you flipped a house on XYZ Street. I have a property a block away from that that I'm looking to sell. Are you interested? And the other thing I'll do is if it's flippers, then that means if they're sold flips, then the agent information is on Zillow or Redfin. I would prefer to call the agent instead yep. of skip trace and call the buyer yep. all day long because the agent will track down that buyer. They're going to know that buyer's habits usually, and they're going to be more than motivated to contact their buyer because that means they're going to get another listing if the buyer buys your property. So I don't even pay agents and they're they're happy to do that yeah. because they know it's going to equal more business for them. Anybody that wants to follow along with me, go to propwire.com and we're going to go through and Jerry's going to coach me. I just signed up for a free account. I have $0 in my account. I've spent $0 to get here. Jerry, you can't be giving this kind of crap away, bro. Like, free. I, I don't know totally what free. your problem is. <laughs> I want to find a buyer anywhere in the country. What do I do? Find a city, pick something in Florida, pick Jacksonville. Ja I love so if Jacksonville. you go to just go to right here, go Jacksonville. Oh, okay. Jacksonville. Now Florida. go to lead type. Lead type. And go to cash buyers. Okay. 80,000. Now we can put some filters in and say, I only want to see cash buyers that bought in the past year or whatever. Okay. I want to sort these. I want to be like, okay, property types. Let's do yeah, single let's, family. There you go. Okay. 49,000. I want to max the price out at 400,000. Okay. Still now 30, you're down to 30. Gosh, dang, dude. Yep. Do you have to put absentee in there, Jerry? You could stack it. Yeah, that's a great idea, Brent. Now hit that match, hit that. And then you got cash and then go to absentee. Let's see what that brings it down to, 14. That's a little better list. You guys understand why Brent said that? Because 30% of homes are owned free and clear. So what Brent's saying is let's get rid of owner-occupied cash buyers. We don't want to talk to them. We want to talk to investors. Yep. Go back to your list and... There's a couple of cool things here. There's the map. When you put your mouse over the record, it shows you where it's at on the map. Look here, it says off market absentee owner, and it's got four other things. So put your mouse over the four. So it tells you all the different things at a glance. So this one's got all kinds of things going on. Go to owner. I bet it's a hedge fund. Yeah, it looks like one, hedge. doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Wow, they have $4 billion in that's, their portfolio. That's a hedge fund. <laughs> 14,000. That's a big one. And they're out of California. Oh, Tricon. You know them? Yeah. Uh, massive. Yeah, yeah massive. Yeah. yeah, they're all over. Look at all these properties. I would probably do purchased in the last year. Or you're yeah, you could add that filter. Deals. So that would be more. Probably go to financial. Last sale date. And then you could do today. Oh, there we go. yeah. All right. 856. So, so, now, so these, I would call these active buyers, right? Because they bought in the last year. So now click on one of these and let's do the same thing. Go to go to owner. Okay, this might be another big one. Okay, probably another fund. Wow. It's open door. Oh, yeah. Let's find a mom and pop. Look at there's a dumpster in the front yard. Hit oh, owner. That's a flipper right there. 16. This would be a great buyer but, to contact. Guys, this is a good buyer. Their address is even Jacksonville, Florida. So they're in town, these guys. That's good. Okay. Now you could just single skip that if you wanted. But if it was active or if it sold recently, you could call the agent and have the same conversation and say, hey, I see you represent an investor. I got a property. By the way, before you click off your absentee owner, cash buyer, free and clear, high, equ well, high mm -hmm. equity and cash free and clear would be the same, but. I like looking at that at a glance. So go back to prop wire and go to lead type and switch cash buyer to flipped. Let's see what this finds. There we go. What we're looking for is they bought it for 200, sold it for 400, you know, like that kind of thing. Hold on, let's see if we can find a real flipper, any of these. That looks like a flip. Perfect. Look at this. So John sold it to Kaylee Land LLC for 185. They turned around and sold it for 315 and they did it in three months. That's great. Yeah. That's an awesome flipper. The so guy, I would want to know this guy. It's a $130,000 spread. Now they have a rehab, but still, that's what you want to see. You want to see a big spread in a fast time. So these guys know what they're doing. Now Google that address. Mm -hmm. This is so fun. I could do this crap all day. Why are we Googling this address? He sold it, right? So there's that 315. He sold it mm -hmm. last summer. But who was his agent on the sale of that? Look how nice he did. Dude, this guy killed it. Yeah, he has a good crew. Crushed. Look at this. Outside, roof, windows, painting, landscaping. And then, I mean, this is a Home Depot special, right? But still. Yeah, look at this drywall. Texture. Yeah, he didn't a even. Home Depot price point too, though. Yeah. They bought it, rehabbed it, and flipped it in 90 days. Pros. Oh, yeah. These are pros. These guys. These are the good buyers yeah. you want. 
And these guys will buy again and again and again. I mean, these guys will buy sight unseen if because they know their neighborhood so well. So if I had a deal in this neighborhood, this would be my buyer. So here's what's cool. We know they paid 185. If you had a same house in the same neighborhood, you know what they paid. Yeah. I got a deal. What should I get it under contract for? 165 and then wholesale it for 185. There you go. That's I, if you're kind of new at wholesaling and you're looking at a deal and you're like, man, what should I get this under contract for? Go in there, look at flippers, look at what they're buying, what they're paying when they bought it. And then you can reverse engineer your number. Yeah. And then if you go back in there, Pace, on that Zillow, it'll show who the listing agent was on it. And oftentimes, it's like 50-50 in my experience that the agent is also the investor. Yeah. They list their own properties. Go back to Zillow. Let's see what that brokerage was called. Usually, too, Brent, it's like a mom and pop brokerage. If they're active flippers, they're going to do their own listings usually because they're going to save a ton of money. It should be in here somewhere. Right here, right here. Right there. Sandbar Realty. There it my, is. <laughs> my guess is that's their own brokerage. They're even smart. Look at this agent. This agent wants to be found. I love you. Kira yeah. Sykes, yeah. you are my friend because you don't make me hunt you down and look up all these weird websites and Facebook message you to get your freaking number. You're an agent. Why are you not plastering the internet with your phone number? Yep. And then you call up and see what they're buying. Yeah. Put your deal in front of them, guys. We should call them. We should. Let's look at their price history because I'm curious if they had to come down on price. Scroll down here. They listed for 309 on June 27th, about two weeks and went 315. They went over, yeah, over list. Let's try to guess pace how much they made. What do you think they spent on that rehab? They have an internal crew. Those guys are, have been on their crew. They do 10 projects a year together. They trust each other. They've been together for five to 10 years. They're buying that They're, flooring in bulk. They do every single trade all on one crew. They probably got that whole entire reno done in less than 30 days. I bet they spent 55 grand. Yep. That's why I say 50 to 60. If, if it was a brand new flipper, bucks. they'd spend a hundred. hundred. Yeah. I'd say if you were subbing all that out a hundred, if you got, if you got your stuff dialed in 55. This 60. is why fixing and flipping is so, so challenging they, is because those fix and flippers are speedy. That guy is the best buyer you'll ever get. Cause that guy will buy at a good price. He'll pay more than anybody else because he's like, Oh yeah, my crew can get done with a hundred thousand dollar renovation in 30 days for 55,000 bucks because they've been on his team for five years. So they probably cleared 50, right? Because they bought it for what was it, 185? I love trying to figure out another flipper's business model. Like, what did they make on this? If I'm actively wholesaling in Jacksonville, that's a, an awesome buyer. When we put out deals, and maybe you guys experience this as well with the guys that do a lot of business, right? The other guys that are just doing, you know, 50 to 100 deals a year, they're always 20 grand under what I sell it to somebody like this that has a crew by themselves that goes out there. They don't have crazy costs. They're doing a lot of the work themselves and they're always paying 20 to 25 grand higher. Do you guys see that? Do you see that, Jerry? Yeah. I, I mean, I'm not a big fan of that as a business model, the high volume flipping like that. That's a, that's brain damage, but <laughs> I love, whole, I love wholesaling to those guys. Love right. wholesaling to those guys. Let them run their operation where they're doing 50, 80 flips a year. And we'll just wholesale to those guys. They're great buyers. Yeah. But that's a tough model to do well at. I think I've done it and it's not fun. If they were to redo it, they would do go into wholesaling. Oh yeah. Make way more money for one eighth of the brain damage. Demand, I think is how we would say, it. I demand you, I <laughs> demand you to go get a propwire.com free account. Where you been, dude? We were just showing how to do the cash buyer thing. Yeah, legit. Your problem solved. Demand, I demand you to watch me do this again. <laughs> if you need a cash buyer, this is how easy it is. I learned today. I like flip properties. Yeah. The cash buyer category are, could be flippers, but they could also be holders. Okay, cool. So we chose the city. We chose absentee owner and flipped property. They don't live there. It's recently been flipped by how speedy the deeds had been transferred. Make sure you click that matched. So. Match all selected. Okay, great. Okay, so here you go. He just found 1,100 cash buyers in one city. By the way, these are free. Yeah, free. Uh, the, all Everything that this, this is kind of, I don't even know why you're giving people stuff for free. You're a lunatic. Wait, how many yes. do they own? 26. That's a great buyer. That's the best buyer right there. They're past yeah. the mom and pop. They probably have property management, doing things right. Yeah, they have somebody in the office. And they're in the Jacksonville. Thing. How do I add funds? You got to put money in your wallet. Get 300 skips per month. Oh, that's our promo we're doing. Are you kidding me, dude? Super easy. Okay, skip trace. Yes. Use PropWire skip trace saver credits. Yes, bro. Give hmm. me this lady's hmm. number. Okay, so I got all of these things. 
and an email. This is a really good buyer. If you didn't have a deal, what would you say? Like, would you even call her now or wait till you had a deal? It depends on your personality. I would do either one, but here's what I would say. I'd say, Hey, Sarah, my name is Pace. I'm brand new to real estate. Saw you own 26 rentals. I want to find you a deal. What are you looking for? What are you looking for? What's your box? Yeah. Are you looking to buy soon? I did the homework. I looked at all 26 of your properties. I'm super impressed. I'd love to have you even as like a mentor. I'd love to bring you deals. I would talk so fast.